Hey guys, we are in summertime and one thing that we have noticed is that we are wanting to spend way less time in the kitchen and way more time outside these days, but we still need to eat. And so I'm gonna share with you some of the quick and easy from scratch meals that our family has been enjoying. All right, so we're right at that season, right? We just finished planting everything outside. Everything needs watered, weeded, Berries are just ripening, so we're doing tons of berry picking. And then our family recently decided to get a pool pass this year, and so I feel kind of conflicted because it's so, so fun, and I love going to the pool, and it's been really, really sweet to spend time with our kids there. But I also feel like in order to make this pass worth it, we need to go, like, I don't know, 12 times this year or something, something to make the dollars add up. And so while I'm super loving it, it feels like this kind of big commitment thing. Um, but anyways, so we've been enjoying lots of time at the pool, lots of time outside on the farm, picking lots of things and getting our garden prepped and ready for harvest season. But with that, um, life has felt really, really full and cooking has kind of fell by the wayside. And at the same time, I feel like in the winter when you're hunkered down at home, like I love spending a lot of time in the kitchen. I love baking. I love making these more time consuming casseroles and soups and things like that. But now that we are in the heat of summer, I don't want to be spending time in the kitchen and I just want meals that are really quick and easy, yet still nourishing and satisfying. And so we have been doing things just really, really simply. Um, just think a protein and a carbohydrate, right? Like chicken and fruit or something like that. Um, our meals have not been elaborate, but they've been delicious and they have, yeah, been really satisfying. Um, but some of our favorite things, and really my favorite thing that we have been doing over the last like month or so, has been starting off the week with just cooking one big chicken in our slow cooker. And so what I'll do is one night, like Sunday night, I'll put a chicken in the slow cooker and I'll fill it like half full with water. I'm um, a splash of apple cider vinegar and then I cook it on low in the slow cooker overnight. And then the next day we'll have that chicken just whole with some sort of side for lunch and I will take the what was the water that is now delicious and really nutrient rich broth and I'll put that in jars and have that on hand. So then after we eat that lunch of chicken, I'll take all the meat off the bone and we will have a lot of shredded chicken for the rest of the week. So we are using the chickens that we raised on our farm that are big, like six, seven pound chickens. So even after one meal, we have quite a bit left over to put into other meals throughout the week. And then we also have the broth on hand from the chicken. And so if you're looking for one like super quick and easy meal that literally takes two minutes that our family really enjoys, um, is you can make a really quick egg drop soup. So just take that delicious chicken broth, throw it in a pot, heat it up, crack some eggs right in there, stir it up, add some salt and pepper, other seasonings if you want. You could totally spice it up with green onions and some other things, or just keep it really, really simple, and you have lunch in literally like three minutes. Um, so that has been a really easy one that we've been doing from time to time. Um, we also have been loving taking that leftover shredded chicken um, and using it in like our tortillas and our cheese egg pizza. And so for our tor tortillas, oh man, you guys, I have used a ton. I have tried so many tortilla recipes in the past from rolling out flour tortillas, sourdough tortillas, and then lots of different gluten and grain-free options with lots of unsuccessful attempts, um, lots of falling apart tortillas, lots of, yeah, just really not successful tortillas. But um, this recipe is the best, it's my favorite. We use an egg-based tortilla, so this is gluten-free. Um, it uses eggs, arrowroot starch or tapioca flour as the starch and then some coconut flour, coconut oil, water. I'll, link, I'll uh, post the recipe in the description box below so you can see exactly what we do. But basically all you need to do, there is no rolling out. Um, it is super simple. It comes together in literally just a couple minutes. Um, you just mix those ingredients in a bowl and then you um, pour them out on your either a cast iron pan or whatever frying pan you're using. Um, they don't stick, which is awesome about them. They flip easily, and these tortillas 
stay together, they hold up well, you can put whatever taco ingredients, quesadilla stuff in them without them falling apart. You could even turn them into crepes if you wanted because um, they're pretty thin. We love making a big batch of these tortillas at the beginning of the week. This recipe that we make, I make a big batch so it makes at least like 18 to 20 tortillas, um, which will feed our family for at least like three meals. Um, and so then we take those, those tortillas, we take some of our leftover shredded meat from our chicken, and then quick and easy in like five minutes I can put together tacos, quesadillas, I could add some eggs and make like egg burritos, we could do crepes with some fruit, and so that just opens up so many possibilities to make some really, really quick and easy delicious meals with those egg tortillas. And then another one we've been doing is making really quick and easy cheesy egg pizza, and so I think this one came together because we, on our farm, we had tons of eggs from our, our chickens, and with our milk cow, we had tons of milk that we were turning into cheese, and so we always have lots and lots of cheese on hand, and so figuring out how to use these ingredients in kind of some unique ways where it's not feeling like we're eating the same thing all the time, I believe is how I came up with this recipe of just wanting to figure out how I can use cheese and eggs in some different sort of way. And so all I do for this is I mix in a, um, a bowl four eggs and about a cup of diced cheese. And so you just mix it together, add some salt um, to a bowl, whisk it, and then pour it into a hot 12 inch cast iron pan. Cook it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes and this is gonna be your pizza crust. So sounds a little weird, right? Cheese and eggs, but it works and it tastes really good. Um, and so that's gonna be your pizza crust and then you just go ahead and top it with whatever you want. So we love to do like chicken pesto, take that leftover chicken from your chicken, add some pesto if you made. We love to make a ton of pesto um, in the summer and freeze it to have on hand all year, so that's that's a good one. Or we've been doing a rhubarb barbecue sauce um, that we also have a recipe that I can link for. Um, so we yeah put our pesto, our barbecue sauce, top it with chicken and cheese, and you have yeah a quick and easy yet like really delicious meal that feels kind of unique and creative um, that comes together in just 10 or 15 minutes. So put the toppings on, put it back in the oven at like 450 for another five to 10 minutes and you have lunch and it's so, it's so easy and everyone loves it. Yeah, so between cooking a whole chicken at the beginning of the week, making a big batch of tortillas and then doing some of these other things like cheesy egg pizzas, egg drop soup, these have been really our go-to quick meals this summer that have kept us fed and nourished, but in a way that doesn't feel like I'm spending all of my time in the kitchen. Um, but I'd love to hear, I'm always looking for ways to add new, especially quick and easy meals into my repertoire. So what are you eating this summer? What's your family been enjoying? Let me know in the comments below because I'd love to try it. Um, so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.